Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 12 of the same topic. We already done 14 questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So here we'll start with question number 15. So Rekha borrowed rupees 52,800 from a bank at 15% compounded annually for two years. Find the amount she will pay after two years. So what is the principal? That is rupees 52,800. The rate of interest that is given is 15% per annum, PA means per annum. And T is two years, which is given here, compounded annually and two years. So we have the formula for this compound interest that is A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 is to T. So here all the, all the things are given P, 1 plus R is given as 15% that will be here. And this is T is the, that is two years. So now we will do one thing here. We'll take the LCM that is 100. So 100 plus 15 over 115 over 100. When you add this, this will be 100 plus 15. That will be 115 divided by 100 raised to 2. So this is going to be, you can also write this one, 115 divided by 100, there are two zeros means, you write 115, go backwards by two digits. So that will be 1.15 rest to two. So or you can also write here, 115 by 100, this two times. You can do anyways. So now this, you are going to multiply it twice because this is two. So when you multiply this whole, you can see that that will be 69,828. So Eka will have to pay rupees 69,828 after two years. A trader allows a discount of 7.5% to his customers. What price should he mark on the article whose CP means the cost price is rupees 1850 so as to make a profit of 20% on it. So this is the mark price is we don't know. What is the what should be the mark on the article? So mark price let us consider as X. So discount is seven and half percentage. So that can be also written directly. If you know half that is seven point five, you can write it, or you can do one thing. You can solve this one. So that will be fourteen plus one fifteen by two, and that fifteen by two is going to be when you divide it, that will be seven point five. So anyways, you can skip this step if you want. You can if you know you can write it directly. So now the selling price is what it's given. That is X into one minus seven percent, seven point five percentage. So X into one point seven point five percent means that is going to be seven point five divided by by hundred. So now this will be this one. This will be hundred. So this will be multiplied by hundred. So hundred minus seven point five. That is going to be ninety two point five divided by 100. So when you divide this one, you can either if you don't know how to do it with the decimal because there are two here and one. So you can also do this step as 92.5 can be written as 925 divided by 10. Because after one number is a decimal and this is 100 we will keep as it is. So now 100 means it will be 100 by 1. So this is the numerator. This is the denominator, so we can write this one. I'll write it here because I'm short of space. That will be 1 by 100 because this is going to get flip over. So now what will be that? This is going to be 925 divided by this 10 into 100. That is going to be 1000. So 925 you will write it. And three zeros means you have to go backwards by three numbers and then put a point. So that will be 0 0.925. It's up to you, you can do it anyways. So now this is going to be 0 0.925x. So that is the selling price. So now this is given the discount we got as 7. Point, this 7.5% uh, 7 we have. We got the selling price as 0 0.925. And what did they ask here? What price should, um, should he mark on the article whose cost price is rupees 1850 so as to make a profit of 20% on it? So now trader wants a profit of 20% on the, that is the cost price. So selling price is going to be cost price into 1 plus 20% because there is a profit of 20%. So 
So uh, cost price is given, 1850 is given. So one plus 20, for this one, we'll write here 20 by 100. So 1850, this is going to be 120 by 20. So this and this gets cancelled. 12 divided by 10, that is going to be because there is only one zero. So what will you do here? You will write here 12 and go backwards by one. So that is going to be 1.2. So when you multiply this one, you get 2220. So now what you get, the, you got here, this was the zero point, the selling price was 0.925x. And here we got as after this profit of 20%, you got this as 2220, this selling price. So we'll form an equation here, 0.925x is equal to 2220. So we'll find the value of x. So now what will you do? This you will write as it is and this is multiplication. So this is going to get divided. So here when you divide this one, so you get 2400. So you, again here also you can do one thing. You will write here 2220 and for this one for 0 0.925 we can write here 925. So after how many numbers is the decimal? After 3. So you can divide it by 1000 because 1, 2, 3. So this is the denominator, this is the numerator. So you will write here 2220 into, this will get flip over. So this will be 1000 divided by 9.5. So here 222, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros divided by 95, 9, sorry, 9.25. So when you divide this, you get 2400. You can divide and see. So we can say mark price should be rupees. 2400. The population of a place increase at 5%. If the population in 2011 was 54,000, then find the population in 2009 and find the population again in 2013. So now let us see for the first part. So let the population in 2009 be, we can say P of 0. So population in 2011, this is given as 54,000. So the rate, this is given as 5% and T, the number of years is now from 2009 to 12. Sorry, that is from uh, till 11, that will be two years. So P of zero, that will be one plus R by 100 rest to T. So this will be, this is given as five and this is two. And that is given, th this is 54,000. So this is, was 54,000. So now what will you do here? You will write here. This will be multiplied by 100. So that will be 105 by 100. So 105 means two zeros means you will go backwards to that is going to be 1.05 rest to two that will be 54,000. So now what will you do? This you are going to multiply two times is equal to 54,000. So P0 this is going to be 54,000 and this will go in the denominator. So when you multiply this into this, you get 1.1025 and this 54,000 as it is. So now this can be also written as, because we, if you want to remove the decimal, we can write here one, two, three, four. So we are going to put here, see, I'll show you here, 54,000 divided by, we write this number without a decimal, 11025 divided by how many here? After decimal, there are four numbers. So what will you do? You are going to put four zeros, one, two, three, four. So now what happens here? This is the denominator and this is the numerator. So I will write it here. So 54,000 into one, two, three, four, one, one, zero, two, five. So see here this one. So when you divide this one, you get 48,980 approximately. This is for P of zero. Now let us see for the next one, what did they say? Find the population in 2013. So we can directly write here population 2013 P of 2013. So we got here, this is 54,000 into one plus five by 100 as to two. So this will be 54,000 one plus 105 by 100 rest to 2, this will be 54,000. So this will be 1.05 rest to 2. So 54,000 into this, you are going to multiply two times. So you get 59,535. 
find the compound interest on rupees 7500 for two one by four years at six percent per annum see this one one this is one by four compounded annually so p is that is 2500 r is six thousand uh, sorry six percent uh, that is per annum p a means the per annum and t is two one by four so that is going to be also 2.25 years so now what will you do here so the formula is a is equal to p into one plus r by 100 is to two so here we will see first we are going to see here why we are not going to see directly because it's not possible for this one this is one by four so first thing we will just take for two years and then we will see of this one one by four so we will take here rest to two so here 7500 one plus six by 100 is to two so this will be 100 and 100 and this 100 plus six that will be 106 by 100 so this will be two zeros means you are going to go backwards and put a decimal over here that will be 1.06 so this you are going to multiply two times so after multiplying this all you get 8427 so we have to calculate uh, this one amount for remaining this was for two years this remaining one fourth year so we have to calculate the amount so one fourth year means r is going to be what r divided by four so what you are going to write here again p into one plus r by 100 so now here we are going to divide r r is six and divide by four so here will be six divided by four so six divided by four and this 100 you know because this is r by 100 so it will be as it is so now here this will be the same so six divided by this is 400 so what will you do here so you can reduce this one simplify it to three za and two two za that will be and two zero so three by 200 so this will be now one plus three by 200 it should be like this so now the lcm is 200 into 200 so that will be 200 plus 3 divided by 200 means this is going to be 203 divided by 200 if you want you can write this step so now so this will be for this one 203 divided by 200 that i have done separately that is 1.015 and this will be as it is so when you multiply this one so you get 8553.40 so now what did they see here find the compound interest so this all things are done now we have to find the compound interest so compound interest is any this will be amount minus principal a minus p so what was the amount amount is here what we got is 8553.40 and what is the principal so you can write it in one line because of a shorter space i wrote it down so this is minus and here that is principal is 7500 so this is that should be 1053.40 that is rupees find the difference between the compound interest and simple interest on 2000 at 9 percent per annum for two years the compound interest has been payable annually so now here it's given here p is 2000 r is given as 9 percent and t is two years that is what is here now they have said the difference between the compound interest and simple interest so now let us take the simple interest so simple interest is p into r into t by 100 so this is a formula what you have to remember so what is p 2000 r is 9 and t is 2 divided by 100 so this and this gets cancelled so when you multiply this one you get 360 that is the simple interest now let us see for the compound interest you know the formula that is a is p into 1 plus r by 100 s to t so the principal is this one is 2000 rate of interest is given as 900 and this is for two years so here this to two so now uh, this is the same that will be you can also write this one as a 9 by 100 is 0 0.09 and when you add this one that is going to be 1.09 this to two so this you are going to multiply two times so when you multiply this part you get 2376.20 and now they are asked here we have to find the difference between the compound interest and simple interest so now what did you get you got here the simple interest and here is the compound interest so 
this component is this will be uh, the first thing what you have to do we have to find a difference between this one so first thing we have we have to find out the interest interest is what amount minus this principal so what will be that what is the amount here this is 2376.20 and what is the principal is given that is 2000 so this one the component is this will be 376.20 so now we have to find out the this is the simple interest and this is the compound interest so we have to find out the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest so what will you do here so you will write here this compound interest we got 376.20 minus the simple interest we got as 360 so this is here so when you subtract this we, we get the this the differences rupees 16.20 that is what so let us see how to do this one the population of the town increases annually by five percent of what it is at the beginning of a year if the present population of the town is 144,000 then compute the population at the end of two years so now let us take the let the present population be p of zero so p of zero that is given as 144,000 what is the rate is given as five percent so now your uh, population after t years is given by that is p of t is p of zero because they said of the population time increases annually by five percent of what it is at the beginning of a year so now what will you write here p of t this is p of zero into this is the one plus r by 100 s to t so now here we will see this is the normal after t years so population after one year so population after one year means what will you do here in place of this t we are going to write here one because that is after one year so that is going to be p of zero that is one for one like forty four thousand into one plus five by hundred and here we are going to put here in place of t that is one so this will be one like forty four thousand here so this will be my when we multiply this by hundred so this will be 105 by 100 so this can be also written as because there are two zeros we can go backwards and put a decimal over here so that will be 1.05 so when you multiply this into this that is one like 51,200 this is for after one year so now we have to see at the end of two years so now population after two years so here we are going to put here p of 2 that will be now we got this one so we are going to take this as p so this will be one lakh fifty one thousand two hundred and this is the rate is going to be the same one plus five by hundred so now this will be one lakh fifty one thousand two hundred this multiplied by hundred means it is going to be hundred and five divided by hundred so this is when you divide it you get it one point zero five so when you multiply this one you get one lakh fifty eight thousand seven hundred and sixty so that is what they asked so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you